How y'all doing today? I got an idea from uh, another YouTube channel, uh, Doug Outside. Pretty cool, pretty cool channel. He's got some good videos. What I'm gonna do today is kind of, I guess, put a whip, whipping on my uh, my Husqvarna Zax. I've already got up by the uh, head done. For overstrike protection I just got it whipped I haven't uh, done the final process yet but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whip down on the handle now I wanted to get both of them done to where I could you know of course finish them up both at the same time but anyway that's what I'm gonna do is uh, put a whipping <laughs> put a whipping on my axe Anyway, stick with me. Okay, so what are you gonna need for this? We're going to need I got some jute twine. I hope I got enough. And we're going to need a couple of pieces of tape. Alright, hopefully I'm doing this where you can see it. But So we're going to take our jute twine and we're going to make a bite. Just kind of double it over. Take our first piece of tape. Put it on there. Just like that to hold that loop down. And take our next piece. Bring it back here. To hold that down. Alright. So we're going to start wrapping. You're going to want to kind of keep this tight. And snugged up like I said I got this from a, a YouTube channel a guy named Doug his channel is Doug Outside so anyway you see what I'm doing I'm just wrapping it keeping it tight keeping it pinched up together and uh I'm gonna continue doing that and all right so we're coming down to the end of our axe whipping <laughs> I said axe so make these last couple of passes around and go ahead and cut this off Pull our tape up, or that end of the jute twine, through there, 
Then we'll come back here on the end. And uh, take the tape off there. Let's see. There we go. And it broke. Are you one of them people that nothing ever really goes easy for? Because I sure as heck am. I mean, I've got it up in there. It's right about here, at the end of my thumb. I think that'll be okay. I think. So, trim that off. Trim that off. Well, we're almost done. All right, so you can see all, you know how jute twine is. Most everybody does. It's all hairy and everything like that. So I'm gonna use torch to take care of some of that. So what I got here is resin mixture. It's equal parts, part A and part B. I got a little paintbrush that's never gonna be used again. And gonna get to mixing. I'm just gonna start brushing it on. basically going to uh, saturate this jute twine with the resin all the way through to the wood now on the axe on the whipping you're gonna want to come back and check up under otherwise you're gonna have drips of resin and I would imagine that's not going to be very comfortable I got finished with the whipping. I got the epoxy on there and everything like that. Now it's just a matter of uh, letting it dry. Just have a few more things to do to kind of finish up and our ax will be whipped. My ax will be whipped. But uh, it's the first time I've ever had my ax whipped. 
anyway y'all be cool i'll check back in the morning all right so it's all dry it's hardened up secured overnight so now i'm going to take some uh 150 grit sandpaper and just kind of kind of go over it a little bit that actually feels a lot better it was kind of kind of bumpy lumpy a little bit that kind of smoothed all that out and there we go it is done So that was pretty simple. A little DIY deal. And it really does give a lot of grip. I mean, I, I like the feel of that. Can't wait to see what it feels like, you know, on down the line. And I wonder also how it's gonna feel like when my hand gets sweaty or something like that but uh, anyway so like I said uh, YouTube channel called uh, Doug outside is where I got this idea and uh, just want to say appreciate it man Thanks for making the videos you do. You do some really good, good stuff, especially with the carvings. Wow. But anyway, I just thought I'd share this with y'all, and uh, y'all be cool. Have a good one. It's pricing. Uh, I'm out of here.